Shooter targets African migrants after Nigerian arrested for murder in its Italian city. Um, so there's a little bit of a two-part to this story. Um, we'll go through, we'll talk about this for a little bit, flick over to the actual reason why this all happened, then we'll flick back. So let's jump straight into it. A man was arrested Saturday on suspicious of a series of drive-by shootings targeting African migrants in the central Italian city of Makarat, according to police. The shooting occurred just days after a Nigerian man was arrested in connection with the gruesome murder of an 18-year-old Italian woman, whose dismembered body was discovered in two suitcases near Makarat. Now, so obviously just jumping to the information on that. Italian teen girl killed and chopped into pieces. Nigerian migrant arrested. A 29-year-old Nigerian migrant drug dealer has been arrested by police in the Italian commute of Pozzes after being accused of killing an 18-year-old girl and chopping her body into pieces. The Nigerian identified as 29-year-old innocent Ascaga, I'm not mispronouncing, but who cares, was arrested earlier this week by Italian Cabaretti, Cabaretti after the body of the 18-year-old Pamela Masupa, not mispronouncing, was found dismembered and dumped on a street with parts of her body stuffed in suitcases. The Karabedi, I'm not pronouncing, in nearby Makarat was able to identify the Nigerian in connection with the murder after examining CCTV footage from the area. Investigators say the 18-year-old had been living at a drug, di drug addiction recovery centre since October, but suddenly left the centre last Monday. Presumably, I suppose, to get a fix. Using a various of sources from CTV footage to witness testimony, they were able to identify the 29-year-old drug dealer who was the last person to see the young woman alive. Forensic investigators from Rome were dispatched to the residence of the migrant who was living in Italy as an expired visa. They were able to find clothes belonging to the victim, some of which were soaked with blood. The case of Pamela Mistropi, I might be mispronouncing, bears similar similarities to the case of the American nanny Lauren M, who was murdered by a Garbian, might be mispronouncing, migrant in the Australian capital of Venena in early 2016. The young girl was killed after allowing a young asylum seeker to stay at her apartment in order to escape deportation. How did that work out for you, darling? The murder is just the latest a series of murders by asylum seekers and illegal migrants following the 2015 migrant crisis. Don't get me started. One of the most notorious cases occurred in Germany in 2016 when student Maria Lundenberg, might be mispronouncing, was raped and killed by child asylum seekers, who was most likely an adult, Hastan Kovani, who later admitted to being an adult. <laughs> Didn't see that coming. Earlier this week, a group of German women launched a new movement to give women who have become victims of crime as a result of mass migration policies a voice. The I-20BD movement, named after the noise intensity of rape alarms, has promised the rally of women together and confront politicians who otherwise have championed mass migration policies. I believe I have actually gone through and tweeted a link. I, d I wasn't aware these things were linked, um, but I've actually tweeted a link to a feminist movement over in Europe. I suspect that's it. So, going back to, obviously, to the actual main story, the suspect in Saturday's attack is a 20-year-old man from Makarat, who was captured about two hours after he began a shooting spree from a black car, reports Reuters. Citing local officers, six foreigners were injured in the shooting, one critically. The incident is likely to raise tensions in Italy as the run-up to national elections on March 4th. Immigration from Africa has become a dominant issue in Italian politics, with the centre-right allegiances calling for more restrictions on waves of migrants that have swamped 
to many of Italian's coastal cities. More than 600,000 mainly African migrants have crossed the Mediterranean Sea and landed in Italy over the last four years, oftentimes with the assistance of the Italian Navy. The Senorite -right Allegiance has said most of the migrants do not qualify for asylum and should be deported. Thank you. Thank you, people over there are starting to get red-pilled and woke up. Some politicians have pointed to the murder of the young woman near Macarat as consequence of Italians' permissive immigration policies. The Nigerian suspect in the case was denied asylum by Italian authorities, but somehow managed to remain in the country. I wonder how. Makarat Mayor Ramono Kamamani, might be mispronouncing, confirmed that all these victims in Saturday shootings were black and said that the closeness of these two events makes you imagine that there is a connection. Police have not offered a motive for the shooting, but we could probably guess why. Local media are reporting that the suspect wrapped himself in the Italian flag and gave a fascist salute before surrendering to authorities. I probably doubt the second part, but anyway. But yeah, I, I do actually have seen a photo of him with a flag wrapped around him. Um, but that's just nationalism, so yeah. Uh, look, at the end of the day, what's my view? What's my take on all this? You, you can't blame him, really. Like, th there was an 18-year-old girl whose body was chopped up and stuck in a suitcase. Sure, she was probably going to score and you hang around drug dealers, you're going to get chopped up and stuck in a suitcase, I suppose. But at the end of the day, you, you can't... This is what we've been warning about. We've been saying for months, this stuff, it is only the beginning. There is going to be an escalation of retaliations. And this whole... Let's be diverse, wank circle jerk, is going to blow up in people's faces. You know, like, I've actually, I'm on a Discord at the moment, in case you can't hear him in the background, and we're talking about the possibility of how far this goes. Some are believing that it'll actually go into a full-blown genocide. Others are like, they're just going to kick him out. But at the end of the day, no one in this Discord is debating the fact that it's, it's going to happen. We're just talking about how far it'll go. Um, but at the end of the day, it, it really does make you wonder, like Soros and Co. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking about profits and bottom lines for your companies. But, dude, you're going to end up being lynched. But, like, guys, obviously, look, at the end of the day, shooting anybody unprovoked, obviously, is a bad thing. Self-defense, I can fully get behind. But unprovoked attacking, obviously that's bad. But my question is this. Can you blame the Italian guy for doing this? Can you support him or can you sympathize with him? Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. If this video has been helpful, please smack a like. If new channel, welcome and subscribe. Apart from that, guys, I'll see you in the next demonetized video from YouTube. Have a great day and enjoy.